Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got some good news today. Wordplay 4.0 beta, it's officially out for testing, so you can log in, check out all the new features, and I'll be going over some of those in this video today. Now, if you don't already have an account, go to wordplay.ai and you can set up a trial right now. But in this video, I wanna go over some of the big changes we made in Wordplay 4.0, and then also, we're gonna be going in a new direction with this channel. You might already be seeing that in the channel name, but I'll be going over that later in this video as well. Let's go ahead and dive in into Wordplay 4.0 new features. So this has been a huge undertaking. We rewrote a significant portion of our code base. Some of the cool things that you're gonna see in this beta is number one, better formatted content. So now instead of just seeing headings and then paragraphs, you're gonna be seeing a lot more dynamic content. So you'll be seeing headings, subheadings, lists, bullet points, paragraphs, all that good stuff. And then along with that, you're gonna see a little bit of formatting in there. So italicizing when it makes sense, bolding when it makes sense, all to generally make your content a lot more readable and to keep the reader engaged for a longer period of time. Now, the second cool feature that we have with Wordplay 4.0 is keyword selection. As soon as you enter the query that you're trying to rank for, we'll automatically populate your article with some semantically related keywords that are related to that topic. And then you can add your own keywords if you want, but overall this just gives you better SEO scores and a better chance to rank at the top of Google. Number three is post creation editing. Before, if you got a section that kind of sucked, you couldn't really do anything with it. You just had to delete it. But now you can actually rewrite that section and you can do that all within the editor in Wordplay without taking away extra words from your account. All right, number four is faster content creation. So before it would take a few minutes to create an article, but now you can literally get it within 10, 15 seconds. It depends on how many people are using it at the exact time, but you can get it extremely, extremely fast. And it's one of the cool features that we've made into Wordplay 4.0. As for what's coming next, is we're gonna to try to improve that keyword selection area. So trying to incorporate more of those keywords into the content so you get better SEO scores, and then also automatically putting images into the content to start with. That way you have a featured image right away, and it just generally gives better SEO scores when you have an image in the content anyways. All right, and that's it for Wordplay 4.0 updates. Go check it out right now. I mean, this is seriously a lot better than Wordplay 3, and we're excited for you to test it out. Now, as for the channel direction, we're gonna be changing the videos up slightly. So before, this was solely dedicated to a Wordplay YouTube channel, but what I've started to realize is that like, I don't wanna be promoting Wordplay in every single video. It doesn't make for a very fun or engaging video for me to make. And also, I just don't think it's that helpful because you probably don't want to be pitched to all the time as well. So what we're going to be doing is just going over a lot of different topics. So SEO, software, marketing, different ways to get traffic to your website. And that's kind of going to be more of the general direction that we're going in. I think these videos will be way more fun for me to make and then also just probably way more valuable to you as someone who's watching rather than just being pitched on wordplay all the time. So I'm gonna try to do one, maybe two videos a week. A lot of you guys know I run CV Ventures, which is basically a portfolio of a bunch of different software tools. So WordPlay is one of them, along with like six other tools. But ultimately, like I wanna make this content that you guys find interesting. So I'm gonna list a bunch of titles like right here. And if you could just comment below and let me know what of those that you find interesting. And we'll try to make some cool stuff and then I'll I'll kind of see what people are liking and start to make more content around that. But we are still gonna be talking about AI, we're still gonna be talking about SEO, it's just I wanna make some other content that generally more interesting for me to make so that it's a better piece of content for you. And one other announcement, we just released Sheet GPT and there's a lifetime deal for that as well. So it's basically a way to use AI in Google Sheets. If you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description for the lifetime deal for that. So that's it, thanks for watching, see you next time.